kitchen. Now, if you're ever creating a cake, maybe for a new baby, a baby shower, maybe a first birthday, or even a christening, a great way to add text or names or numbers onto the cake is by using baby blocks. So for this week's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you a really easy way to make some different styles of baby blocks. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna be using a mold. Now it's always been a bit tricky to make baby blocks and get the straight sides and those sharp edges. In order to make it a lot easier, I'm gonna be using this cube mold. Now this is the builder block mold and this one is by Sweet Stamp. So it just has four areas where we can make little cubes. It also comes with a little square cutter and also these additional shapes. Now I'm gonna be showing you a few different styles but I'm gonna start by making the blocks themselves. By using this mold, this is gonna make blocks that are around four centimeters or one and a half inches. I'm gonna start with my modeling paste and you want something that's gonna set quite hard so our cubes are gonna keep their shape. What I have found when testing this out, if you're using just fondant on its own, when you remove them from the mold, as they dry, they start to squidge down, so they become slightly wider at the bottom than at the top. So we want something that's gonna set a lot harder and a lot quicker. So either quite a firm fondant, or I'm gonna be mixing 50% fondant with some gum paste, or in this case, I'm using the Squires floral paste. Now, if you don't have gum paste, you could always add some Tylo powder into your fondant, which is gonna help to firm that up. So I'm gonna mix those together. Now, each of our cubes takes around 78 to 80 grams of modeling paste and I'm gonna be creating three different ones to give me my ABC so this one I'm gonna color with yellow so I'm adding a very small amount just to get a nice pastel yellow once that's all been mixed in I've got my yellow I've also got a pink and a light pastel blue taking my mold I'm gonna start by adding in some corn flour so I've got this really large fluffy brush and this one is by sweet stamp and I'm gonna go inside just making sure that I'm getting down into those corners now I do have a discount code for all of the sweet stamp products all you have to do is enter cakes by Linz at the checkout on their website and I will put all the details in the description below you want to tap out any excess corn flour take my first color roll this into a ball so that we get rid of a lot of those lines and creases on the outside and then gonna roll it slightly into a sausage, add it into the hole and really push in, getting it into those corners at the bottom. As you can see, the silicone mold just moves. So I'm gonna push that back into place and pull that modeling paste over and then go in with a small rolling pin, really pushing that into the mold. If you do have any excess just coming over the top, take a sharp knife, run this over the top, taking off any excess. Can then pull the edges in so there we have our first cube now this one does have a slight mark on the top where i brought all the modeling paste over but that is going to be the bottom i can then do exactly the same for my other two colors now as well as using modeling paste you can also add in some colored candy mills or chocolate to give you that nice cube once all of our colors have been added into our mold we need to pop this in the freezer for around 20 to 30 minutes this is just going to firm up those blocks and allow us to get them out of the mold okay so i've taken my mold out of the freezer and before i popped it in i actually popped it into just a sandwich bag the reason that i did this was to stop any of the moisture from the freezer going into my cubes and then just peel away those sides it should be firm enough when i give it a little push on the other side get this little block now in the freezer these have been quite cold so when you take them out and they come back to room temperature you may find that you might get a small amount of condensation on the outside all you have to do if this happens is just leave them to one side until that condensation dries and then they're ready to use there we have our pastel baby blocks for my first block, I'm gonna be using the Sweet Stamp letter sets and also my square cutter to create the design on the outside. Now, this is the classic letter set and it's gonna give you 
a really traditional looking baby block. So for this one, I'm gonna be using the A. With this set, you do get uppercase letters, numbers, and your lowercase letters. So it's perfect for adding onto your baby blocks. So I've got some white fondant here and I have mixed in a small amount of gum paste, just as I did with the blocks, so that I can roll them slightly thinner. I'm popping down a small amount of corn flour. I'm gonna roll that out until it's just over a millimeter in thickness. By rolling it quite thin, you still want it thick enough that you can push your letters in and emboss them, but we're not gonna be adding much bulk onto the sides of our blocks. Now, to create a stamp with my letters, you've probably seen me use this in a few other videos, but I've got my small pickup pad. I'm gonna push that onto my letter and this just creates a stamp. And then using my square cutter, just cut out my letter. And you can neaten up the edges just pushing a knife into the side. So that gives us a nice little plaque to add onto the side of our block. Now I have five visible sides on my baby blocks and I'm gonna put a shape on the top. So I'm gonna cut out four of my letters. I can then remove my letter from my stamp, pop down one of the shapes, stamp in a little heart take in some edible paint so this is the edible art paint by sweet sticks in the pink gelato color now if you don't have any edible paint you can take some of your food gels and mix these with a small amount of alcohol or dipping solution to create an edible paint i've then got a small paintbrush and i'm gonna paint inside those embossed letters and this is just a really great way to add text onto your cakes so there we have our first letters to add onto the side of our blocks. So using some edible glue, placing that on the top, I'm gonna add on, first one is this little heart. We've got this slight border around the edge. I can then work on the different sides. So there we've got the first of our baby blocks. As an alternative, if you wanted them slightly smaller, I've got the frosting letter set. The letters are quite a similar style. They're just quite a lot smaller. So for this one, I'm gonna be using the C. So again, I cut out five of my squares. Four of them had this small C on them, and the final one, I added a star. These were then painted in a slightly different color to our block, so I used a purple paint. Now, I do prefer to stamp my letters and then cut them out with a square cutter. I do find that if you cut the squares first and then stamp the letters, the fondant can be pushed out slightly as you emboss your squares, so it makes the sides slightly bowed. So there we have our first two cubes. So we've got the a and the C and we've used the sweet stamp letter sets for these. Now lastly for my third cube I'm gonna do the opposite that we've done for these. So these had plaques go on with embossed letters. I'm actually gonna add a cutout letter with a border. So for these I'm using the Tappets by FMM and these also come in capitals, numbers and lowercase. So for this I'm gonna be using the B. Now, this is just one style of letter cutter that you can get. You can also get plunger cutters or ones where you just simply cut out your letter. For the tappets, you will need to use something that's quite firm. So a gum paste or a modeling paste, and you wanna get it quite thin, so around a millimeter in thickness. I'm then gonna cut this down into smaller pieces. So I'm not stamping a lot of letters in one go. Push that in and take off the excess. And you just wanna tap these to release your letter. And that's just gonna come out and give you this little B. So I'm gonna do four of those. Now to match the previous star that I've used, I've got a star cutter and this is by PME. This is just another way to add the letters onto your blocks. Now, as well as those letters, I also wanna create a border around the edge. So I've got some more of my modeling paste. So I'm gonna roll this out, again, keeping it quite thin. Now, in order for me to get each of the pieces the same size, I've actually made a small template. So this is just a strip of thin card that measures five millimeters, use that as a guide to cut out some strips. So taking that blue box and first of all working on the top, add a thin line of edible glue around that top edge. And taking my first strand that we created, add that onto the box, bringing it right the way to the edge. 
I can then use my craft knife and you want to cut diagonal place the next strand and I'm going to go slightly over the previous one and then find that join and just trim that off working my way around that entire edge Now, as this is the top of my block, we've got the star that we created. Now, for the sides, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So first of all, creating that border around the edge, just matching up those two edges. Now, taking one of those small bees from the tappets, I'm gonna add some edible glue onto the back and just pop that in the center of my block. Now, I'm gonna work my way around, adding the border and the letters onto the next three sides. So there we have our third little baby block. And as you can see, it's just the opposite of the first ones we created. The next thing to do is you can either add these onto your cakes, either as cake toppers or add them to decorate your board. So here we have the finished baby blocks in these different designs. So we've got the ones that use the letter sets by Sweet Stamp and then we've got the baby blocks that use the letter cutters so I used the tappets and it has this border around the edge. So no matter which one you prefer I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and it will be helpful if you need to make baby blocks for your own cakes. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget you can subscribe to the Cakes Manager YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Now, I'll also put a list of all the tools that I've used throughout today's video in the description below, along with that sweet stamp discount code. So, until next time, bye!